It's not the playoffs yet. Heck, it's not even league play yet for the Arroyo Grande boys basketball team. But already the second ranked Eagles find themselves in a huge Division I showdown with the Central Section's top ranked team, Clovis West. The Eagles and Golden Eagles meeting up at Arroyo Grande High School this afternoon. Clovis West out in front early on. Dante Shashire, baseline up and under. Golden Eagles go up by nine. AG climbing back into it in the second quarter thanks to the hot left hand of Gage Gomez. One of four triples in the first half ties the game at 21. Then just before the break, Gomez driving, kicking to a wide open Connor Angle and his geometry was perfect. AG took the lead into halftime 32-30. Third quarter now, here comes Clovis West. Ball is swung to Alex Vealy. Calm, cool, collected. He buries the triple, and the Golden Eagles reclaim the one-point lead. Now tied at 43, Charlie Bear finds Robert Hutchins. Top of the key for three, book it. 20 for Hutchins. Eagles go ahead 46-43. Back and forth they go. Clovis West now in the lead in the fourth quarter, but not for long. Gomez gets the friendly roll from beyond the arc, his sixth triple. He had 20 points as well, 49-48 AG, but they couldn't stop Alex Vili driving, fading, and scoring off the window. Clovis back in front, 53-52, and they never gave that lead back. Vili with a game-high 28 points, closing it out with the layup. Clovis West holds off for Royal Grande, 64-62. Uh, I'm extremely proud of our guys. You know, it's they're a good basketball team. We know all about them. Uh, and again, to get them over here at the coast, an opportunity to play them in our gym was a lot of fun for our guys. And even though we came up short by two points, our guys are very confident right now, you know, in the chatter afterwards. The Eagles will return to action after Christmas with a trip to Miramonte for the 22nd annual Bam Bauer Classic.